Hello, it is Dr. Rando. This is the first part of the tutorial on how to make a puddle with raindrops rings in Blender. In this part we will set the scene, create and set material and one ring. Let's start with replacing default cube with a plane. Set a camera and change a viewport shading. Open Shader Editor and create new material. Set its roughness to 0 and base color to black to create refractive surface. Now let's set our world properties. Change shader type to world and add the environment texture node. We will use default Blender HDRI map. You can find them in folder where Blender is installed. For Steam users, Blender's default HDRI maps are located at. We are done with Sen. Go back to object shader type. Add texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Link them and change mapping type to texture. Now we will create a water ring. Add two gradient texture nodes and change types of both to spherical. Add invert node and link to one. Then add mix RGB node, link everything and set like shown on the screen. Multiply blending mode will create a ring where gray parts of both gradients overlap. The position and scale are set in mapping node. Add core ramp node to set saturation of ring. Add bump node and link it properly. Set everything like shown on the screen. You get the nice ring. Let's make it grow. Add a value node.
connect it to scale on maybe node. Now we can set scale with just one slider. We will do a little math. Add math node and set it to convert input to radiance. We will need it in the next part. For now it will make rings growth much slower. Add another mat node and set it to tangent function. The good thing about this function is its periodicity with period of 180. It will loop ring enlargement when value increases from 0 to 90 plus 180 and shrinking of the ring when value increases from 90 to 180 plus 180. But in nature water rings don't shrink, so we have to cut these parts of tangent function. Add a few more math nodes. Set 1 to greater than. It will create a condition and return a 1 if input is greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. Another math node set to multiply. It will get tangent and result from condition and will nullify negative part. So we get one periodically growing ring. That's all for this part. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe please, so you don't miss next part in which we will randomize water rings location, add more rings and animate it all just with one slider to create accurate puddle with raindrops rings. Bye.